So what do I do? Just something like this. Successfully dating spiritual people has been impossible until now. Throughout human history, trying to date a spiritual person has been like trying to take on the mission of wrestling a hungry crocodile. You lose every time. And you get torn to shreds by an unevolved reptilian beast. No offense to crocodiles. This happens because you don't know how to communicate with a spiritual person in a dating scene. This all changes today. Finally, someone is stepping in to teach you how to understand their language. And I'm not talking about English here. I'm talking about understanding what they're really saying in the subtle language underneath their spoken bliss bunny propaganda to teach you what you need to know. I had some cameras on me during a recent first date. As I show you this footage, listen to what's being said, but watch and learn what's really being said. Roll it. So what do you do for work? What's most important to me is honoring my creative spirit. I mean, there's so much I love to do and it just, it makes me feel so alive. What do you do for work? I'm a Reiki master. Last year I completed my yoga teacher training in Asheville and um, I'd like to open a holistic health center in the near future. Mm. I'll have the quinoa salad. Absolutely no cheese. Can you make sure to tell the chef that? No cheese. You know, sometimes I just don't understand why people can't accept their God-given beauty. I agree. I think we all have unspeakable beauty. And I think a person's greatest beauty is always inside, in their heart. My favorite book is The Secret. Oh my God, I love it. You like the DVD or the book better? Isn't it amazing how life unfolds in a perfect way? Sure, there's challenges, but the universe always has a plan. It's so tranquil looking into your beautiful blue eyes. Is this tap water? I've learned so much from my past relationships. I mean, I don't even like to call them my exes. I call them my teachers. My past partners have been afraid of commitment. It's like they're afraid of intimacy. Yeah, there's not a lot of guys out there who know how to be truly vulnerable. I know it's only our first day, but I feel like we've known each other for so long. It wouldn't surprise me if we've had a past life together. Maybe more than one. Thank you. I'd like to honor you as my equal by having us split the bill. I totally respect that. As a powerful woman, it's important to me to be self-sufficient. And there you have it. Now you can finally have a successful romantic life dating spiritual people. Now you might be asking, JP, where did you get these dating insights from? Well, it's ancient wisdom passed down to me from only the most spiritually evolved ladies man to ever walk the earth. Who's that you ask? None other than the Dalai Lama. He's a big time ladies man. Why do you think he wears the robe? It's a very vintage Hugh Hefner move. Have a nice life. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be entered in a contest to win a date with the Dalai Lama.